G'day, Adam Cogan here from SSW TV, and today we're talking about Azure architecture. And architecture is incredibly important. It's the stuff that's really hard to change, so you want to get it right early on. Now, you just really need to be able to search Azure architecture. If you, and well, it's even helping me here with Azure Architecture Center, and that's the place you want to go. So let's click on that that one. Um, this is a phenomenal resource. We use it all the time at SSW. Uh, it has lots of information here about architecting applications and technology areas that goes on and on. There's a lot of stuff here, but really you only really need to know the stuff at the top early on. Now, let's assume a scenario where you've got a customer with a crummy old large Windows Forms application on SQL Server. Let's modernize that to um, a web API, with Cosmos DB for big scaling, and we've talked to the customer, they're comfortable with throwing it onto Azure, we're gonna do a serverless solution. So we'll come in here and we'll click the first link, Browse Azure Architectures, and we're going to search here for server, server, less Cosmos. Okay, you look down here, and what you'll find uh, after you look through the 56 results is the first one's the best one, and that is serverless apps using Cosmos DB. So you'll look down here and you'll be impressed uh, with the information, but the first thing that will be useful is this diagram. Now this diagram here uh, kind of shows you how uh, a well-established pattern will work. Uh, you will look at this and see how the Cosmos DB has a series of microservices. You would then, if you're in the sales stage, put this uh, image in your document to show the client what you're planning on doing. Uh, then when you you have your team, you should put this image on the wiki that the team is working with. And uh, as you uh, modify this and things change, you will then uh, pop open diagrams.net, which used to be called Draw.io, and then you'll uh, modify it there and update your uh, diagram. Now, Let's talk about the second phase of the project where they learn that they need to implement caching. So what do we do? We come back to the Azure Architecture Center, we click on the same link and we jump in here and we go, all right, let's do caching. C-H, C-A-C-H. All right, now we've got 129 results here and uh, this one should work nicely. We'll click on data cache. Now, we are going to look down here and we are going to see another nice diagram. And we're going to use this diagram. You can see that uh, we better implement Azure Cache for Redis. So then you'll scroll down and uh, you'll see there's the data flow explained, how you read and how you write. And then there is the components that you need to uh, work out which ones you use. Now these components, are the ones that were listed up here, okay? So you'll click on all that and you'll learn all about which components you should put together. Okay, now let's assume that we're not as experienced with caching and we've put it together. Uh, then we'd come back here and think about how do I make sure I'm following the best practices? Well, then you click on the second link, which is Explore Cloud Best Practices. And now we're going to come here and type caching and we will see, oh, best practices for cloud applications. We'll come in here and you look down here for the caching guidance and best practices. There's a mountain of information here. You'll learn a lot about caching and you'll be uh, fairly happy with what you have here. So what's the next part? The next part is uh, to come back to this page and use this. This essentially is a review of your entire solution where you tick, tick, tick and it will give you a rating. So that is the, well, architected framework. And you, if you don't remember all that, it's all listed here on the, uh, our rule about using the Azure architecture. Uh, use your diagrams, use the best practices. And there's even a link down here that takes you to the well architected framework, which is about um, that last piece and making sure that you get your rating and work out where, where you're at. So in this case, if you've got a rating of 
32 out of 100, it's uh, not too healthy. You've got lots more to work on. You put that on your backlog in your own business. So there you go. Um, hopefully that was useful. Uh, put some comments down below if you have uh, other thoughts about uh, Azure architecture. And uh, I will see you in the next one. This is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV. Mm -hmm.